Every time a virus replicates, so SARS-CoV-2 infects you, right? It, it, it attaches to um, some, some of our cells in our upper airways and our lower airways. It enters the cell, and when it enters the cell, it replicates, which means it makes copies of itself. And when it copies itself, um, it tends to make mistakes. Occasionally, there are mutations that arise that add some degree of fitness or some, some advantage to the virus. So either make it more transmissible, maybe allow it to attach to our receptor cells more um, tightly, um, allow it to grow to higher concentrations in our airways, um, or allow it maybe to escape um, our immune responses to, to the virus. These variants all are expected to spread in the same way as the original variant. So they spread when people, you know, through, through um, droplets, so when people cough. So what we have to do is to be, I think, very diligent right now to try to um, reduce, reduce transmission. Um, if we don't have transmission, if we don't have replication, we don't have mutation, we don't have virus spread. The other thing that's really important right now is vaccination. Everybody getting vaccinated as soon as it's their turn. I think it's really important that the United States and globally we you know, expand um, the vaccines as fast as we can. Even the variants against which maybe our current vaccines aren't quite as effective as they, the vaccines were against the original variants, they're still, to, to date, all the evidence has still been that the vaccines prevent severe disease and the vaccines have effect. And I think one of the important things to remember too is that when the um, original vaccines came out, the mRNA vaccines produced by Pfizer and Moderna, their efficacy in clinical trials was so much higher than any any of us ever thought it was going to be. 95% efficacy, that's like amazing. Um, and so when we talk about then the efficacy against the variants being, you know, somewhere between 50, 75%, that's still effectiveness. And as I said, the, the data to date suggests that these um, vaccines are, are even more effective at preventing severe disease. The CDC has released official guidance on double masking that has been in the news and people have been talking about it quite a bit. My understanding of the benefit of double masking is that it would, if you have a medical mask and then a cloth mask over it, that the cloth mask would pull the medical mask more close to your face, so to better seal around your nose and mouth. If you only have cloth masks, from the very beginning it's been recommended that you wear a mask with multiple layers because multiple cloth layers will be more effective at filtering out virus than a single cloth layer. Because of some of the, this information that's coming out about um, reduced protection from some of the current vaccines, vaccine makers are already working on uh, modifying the vaccines so that they will be more effective against these variants. And that's one of the things particularly about the mRNA vaccines is that it, uh, apparently they can do this very, very quickly um, and very um, readily. So um, they are already working on this, anticipating that these variants may spread further. The Chicago Department of Public Health has um, partnered with Rush to um, help them do genomic sequencing. So we've um, established um, with the Chicago Department of Public Health what they're calling the Regional Innovative Public Health Laboratory. So there will be SARS-CoV-2 viruses that will be sequenced, individuals who were vaccinated and now have COVID. Um, so to see whether or not did that person just not develop a an immune response, or, or is this now a variant of concern that's an infecting them? Um, people who have uh, what appears to be recurrent COVID, and then there will also be um, just sort of general surveillance um, of a certain fraction of um, uh, SARS-CoV-2 from people who are infected across the city. I think we need to be watching them really carefully, but I, I, I don't think it means that we need to change our behavior in any way except to uh, really even increase our diligence. This is not a time to let our guard down. I know, um, you know, we're all tired of the pandemic. Believe me, I am very tired of the pandemic, but um, I think if we can hold out for another six months, really just crush this, you know, get the rates of transmission very, very low, get the rates of new cases very, very low, at the same time that we're rolling out vaccine to millions of people. So just keep doing what we're doing, even more diligently, just try for six more months, and I think we'll be in good shape by the summer.